what a year it's been it's been absolutely fantastic i've tried to share out as many free giveaways as possible in this video please if all the winners could get in touch with me after watching this video we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas i'm only joking i'm not going to sing to you but merry christmas everybody thank you for tuning in with me once again um and i hope you've all had a fantastic christmas morning as you can tell by the little singer song there this is my Christmas special. With it being the Christmas special, there's a lot to give away. So keep tuned because you could be a lucky winner. Um, right guys, I'm on the rock mark. I started fishing about an hour ago. Um, it's Friday the 22nd of December when I'm into this doing this recording. And I have already had a huss. I did try to do an induction, but please be aware it's windy, it's blowing a gale, there is a bit of rain, I'll show you that clip now and I'll show you the conditions I'm fishing and I hope you can understand why it's going to be difficult. Let me show you the conditions that I'm fishing here tonight and then you can see what I mean. So these are the conditions I'm fishing guys, it's a big sea, um, I'd usually fish up there but I'm using this high point here for shelter out the wind. Um, it's a mark I know very well. We're at high water now, but it's a rough sea. So I wouldn't advise anybody to fish in these conditions if you don't know the marks, but it is a real growler. As you can see, it's blowing in. It's a cracker. But I feel, I know this mark, and like I say, I'm safe here, and the shape of the rock to the wind direction makes it okay but as you can see she's growling she's blowing so keep tuned let me show you that hearse i had a moment ago keep tuned i'll try and bring some footage in and also do them good well i think they're fantastic christmas giveaways and i'll tell you a little bit more about them in a bit Welcome back to the town. Right then guys, there's the hearse. Sorry it wasn't the best footage, but like you've seen, the weather's bad. Now, um, I'm really grateful to all the viewers and there's been some fantastic support throughout the year of 2023. Now, in my last video where I announced that I was going to be doing a free giveaway, um, I've had three different people approach me. One that I've never met and I don't know, um, and two people that I do know all three would like to stay anonymous now them three people have kindly donated some money with that money I have bought some vouchers um, which I am going to give away to you guys um, as this channel my channel is all about inspiring people to go fishing now I've done it with a bit of a twist the free giveaway this time um, free giveaways should I say um, so, guys, without without going any further, here's the first free giveaway. So keep watching and let's see who that first lucky winner is. Hi guys, my name's Barry. You might have seen me in some of Tommy's previous videos. I'm the one who catches all the fish, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. Um, right, he's asked me to pick someone randomly from the comments section to win the Sea Glow voucher. So we have gone through the random generator and it has chosen Ian Conway 906. So congratulations mate, that's a cracking prize. Um, you should be able to find all your fishing needs from Sea Glow. Hopefully you get yourself some nice hooks or something glowy. All right, well if you'd like to give Tommy a quick message and he will get that over to you straight away. Brilliant. Well, like Tommy would say, keep safe. Keep fishing and keep chasing them dreams. Well there are guys, we've got our first winner of a lot of winners to come. So well done to Ian Conway and thank you to Barry for announcing that one. So whilst the fishing's a little bit quiet here over high tide, let's have a throwback, a throwback into the year to that moment it all happened for me. And then straight after that, I'll put in the clip of the second winner and the person who's going to announce that one for me.
I've done it. I finally done it. 23 and a half, just shy of 24 pound. Get in there! Yes! Yeah, I'm just about to do a video for my uh, my friend, you know, bald head beard. Yeah, yeah, him that looks like a garden gnome. Yeah, yeah, him with the fishing rod. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Oh, I'm live. Sorry, I didn't realise. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve from Sparta Fishing, and I have been asked by Tommy Joe to pick a winner at random for a rod bag sleeve. So, yeah, uh, I'm here and I'm going to do that for you. So, Tommy's channel is Fishing and Country Life with Tommy Joe, as you probably know. Well done to everyone who's supporting it. Um, it's a fantastic channel. Tommy deserves, deserves incredibly a lot of support for his time, effort, um, commitment, endeavour, whatever word you want to use. Um, he's the man. He does a lot of fishing, puts a lot of videos out for you to enjoy at home. So, yeah, Tom deserves all the accolades he can get. From a personal point of view, I think Tom's a great lad. I do a bit of fishing with him. Um, I travel down to Wales, um, and he sometimes travels up here to the northeast to do a bit of fishing with me. Um, so I, I thoroughly enjoy meeting up with Tom, and I hope there's many more adventures to come. So, the draw. Matthew Beardsworth. Well done. I've picked you at random. Um, there's some lovely comments on there. It's always nice to get positive positive comments on a video you put a lot of time and effort into doing it i know firsthand and uh yeah the comments really mean a lot to everyone so well done everyone i hope you have a safe happy joyful uh christmas and i look forward to hopefully joining tommy on one of his videos and seeing you in the new year so thanks very much well done tom great effort all the best mate from sparta That's a good take there. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, let him take it, let him take it. Well done to our second winner there of the rod bag. Please do remember to drop me a message. And also, Steve, thank you very much for announcing that winner. I'm going to deal with this fish, eh? Looks like he's, looks like he's showing interest. I've got big baits on, so I'm not in a rush. Let it develop. Let it develop. Oh, my camera's going to blow over the wind. Oh, look at that head! Did you see that? Oh shit, I just broke the stand. Oh well. Um, yeah, got a decent bite there guys. And then, uh, a bit has just come off the stand. So unfortunately I'm going to have to turn you off while I deal with this fish. of the night on now so what I'm doing is I'm just using that swell to bring it into this pool um, I'm obviously trying to hold my phone here to do this using the swell to bring it into this pool here come on there we go just like that so the swell brings it into that pool and because I'm fishing alone I always have my shock leader um, length longer so I can handball fish by myself now, uh, let's see if I can get this fish up now with holding the camera so you can see. Oh, it's 
down there, look. Way down there in that rock pool. It's not going anywhere now. Um, you're not going to believe this, guys, but it's actually just vomited a dogfish. Can you see that down there? It's just throwing up a dogfish. So it's obviously eating a dogfish or an eel. I can't really tell. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put the phone down to get this one up. He's a big one. But he's safe in there. Can't get out of there now, so I'll put the rod down, plenty of slack, and I'll lift him up so I can show you. There we go. There's that third hus of the night that you just see me within the rock pool there that vomited up the dogfish. Um, absolutely sweating now. As you can tell, I've taken my coat off. Um, three hus, this one's trying its best to bite me. Three hus so far, and two lucky winners. So, so far, um, we've had uh, the winner of the rod bag, which was kindly donated by Disco Dan. Um, and we've had Ian Conway, sorry, the chap that won the rod bag. I can't remember your name, but I will look. Um, apologies for that. Um, it was a mat or a mic or something, a mat, something I think it was, um, that won the rod bag. And then Ian Conway obviously has won the £30 Sea Glow voucher. And I've yet to give away a £20 ABC tackle of Boo Maris voucher and a £10 voucher for ABC tackle as well. So there we are, third hus, ready to go back, cracking fish, made up with that, um, three hus, two winners so far, another three winners to go, so keep tuned. Right then guys, I'm just about to move Mark, um, as the tides drop too much there, but before I do that, I'd like to announce one more winner, which is uh, Hardwood Blades. Now I've picked him myself and the reason that I've picked him is that um, he's been a top contributor to the channel since the day it started. Um, he's followed me from day one and he's always put in comments and likes on every video. So he has won Hardwood Blaze, well done mate. Um, you have won a selection of glow in the dark leads. So if you drop me a message and I'll get them leads to you. They were kindly donated by Dave Wally which makes the leads um, and I will be doing more features on them in the new year but thank you very much whilst I travel to the next mark let me leave you with this amazing clip I took in the summer months and then I'll see you at the next mark wow look at that <laughs> fish frenzy boy Live bait under the float there, obviously. It's just alive with fish down here. Look at this. Well, it's now Saturday around about midday there thereabouts guys so I made that move last night and um, to be honest you it was the wrong move I made the move got there um, I made the move to fish low water on a beach got there realized I hadn't put my waders in the van so I drove then all the way across the island about 20 odd miles to another mark got out the van and I just went ah oh, do you know what so I've had enough so I went home but it's around midday now on the Saturday it's absolute bright sunshine um, so I'm not really expecting much guys to be honest with you um, I've got some fresh blacks left and I've got some squid, some sand eel so you never know, might pick up a codling or a dogfish or some flounders I don't know, some dabs, who knows um, I'm on a, one of the rock marks over on the Holyhead side of the world um, but yeah, I've got two more giveaways to do, which I'll do right at the end. Um, and what I'll do between now and then is um, basically I won't bring the camera on unless I get a fish. So uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. I might actually put a bit of something in the camera, I don't know. Just see what happens really. I'm going to chill out here, I've got a couple of hours to spare on a Saturday before we take the kids to a Christmas pantomime tonight. Uh, and I've promised the wife I'll hang my uh, coat up until uh, until the 28th, 
So that means that'll be four days of no fishing for me. Um, by then I'll be sheep king and cold turkey and all that. But uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. I'm trying to do a bit of footage for you guys. Um, I'm hoping that obviously you can understand from my video from last night of why I find it difficult filming alone because the conditions I fish in. And again today, you know, the, the, the big conditions, big seas, um, you know, it's, it's absolutely rough. I'm local to this area. I'm comfortable on these marks. I know when to sort of what I can predict to fish on them um, and yeah basically I spend a lot of time watching the sea and how it moves on different winds and stuff and then uh, I know when I can just get out of it like you wouldn't fish the mark um, just over here it, it's just uh, too dangerous but I, I'm all right on this corner here um, anyway like I say if I get a fish I'll bring it back I'm trying to keep all the footage of the film as small and as possible as I can um, so I'm not boring you all on Christmas Day. Oh. No, next week. <laughs> <laughs> you can't arm that to do that. Hi, I'm Tommy's mother. I've been asked to pick two names from his previous video. Congratulations to Stephen Williams, 3066. You have won a £20 voucher for ABC of Primaris. And the second name is Andy Parry, 190, a £10 ABC Primaris voucher. Congratulations to you both. So Mam was quite nervous about doing that. Um, so I asked Mam to have a read through the comments and pick just two random people because Mam doesn't know anybody really that comments on there. Um, so she read through them. And I think she picked the first one as she enjoyed um, where it said the part that um, the family enjoyed the channel. And then she was struggling with the second one. So what mum did is she said to me, sister, um, just pick me the 10th comment. So that's what she did. Um, and the 10th comment was uh, obviously my mum's second choice. Um, my mum, bless her, is full of cold at the moment. But it was great to get mum involved in the channel um, and hopefully we'll see a bit of my mum in the channel come 2024 where she reckons she's going to get back into fishing as mum taught me a lot about my fishing well guys if you haven't already noticed this is coming to an end this video so i would just like to thank you all for your support through 2023 um just over um 1.4k subs in 11 months of the channel absolutely fantastic i never ever thought it'd go that far and when i built the channel it was to inspire one in ten to go fishing so goals for 2024 i plan to catch a fish out the sea over a hundred pound that's my target not multiple but one fish over a hundred pound in weight we'll talk a little bit more about that in 2024 also in 2024 i've got a species hunt where 35 other anglers are going to get involved again we will talk about that in 2024 so there's quite a lot to look forward to i've also got a lot of trips planned i am going to be doing a little bit more carp fishing um in the new coming year um as my eldest son is really keen and it's a good way to bring him into the angling world um but i won't be doing a lot of filming on that um guys and girls and everybody out there i thank you very much god bless you and i hope you have a fantastic christmas and a safe new year i'll not be doing another film now this year but i will be fishing in between christmas and new year um i've got a bit of a road trip planned looking for cod so i'll see you in the new year i hope you all got health well health and um have a good time so until next time, if you do get out, guys, keep safe, keep fishing, keep chasing them dreams. Thank you very much.